So what is it about getting ink? Having tattoos lowers your chances of finding a job. It hurts, it's a needle, but people go back again and again and again. Are people who have tattoos facing discrimination? Why are more people getting tattooed? Because it's becoming more acceptable. There has been a major shift with a growing number of people asking for tattoos on their hands, necks, and faces. At one point, considered so-called job stoppers. Somebody with a tattoo is more likely to do something deviant. Well, uh, getting a tattoo is a pretty big decision, right? It's permanent, oh, right? Yeah. It, it, yeah, not a temporary, not a henna tattoo, but this is a legit tattoo. Council now has proposed a bill to outlaw discriminating against people who have tattoos. In 2024, around 42% of Americans have at least one tattoo. Although tattoos are very popular and now being accepted more in today's society, there's still a downside to getting them. One of the main reasons why people don't get them is because it's a permanent decision and you can't just wipe it off. Once you get it, you have to live with it. Others include the pain, the medical risk, and the potential job opportunities that you can miss out on. Now, these are all valid points on why you shouldn't get a tattoo. But what surprises me is that people still go out and get them. Something urges people to go out and get these tattoos. And that leads me to this next question. Why do people get tattoos? Galen Durden, and I'm from Marshall, Texas. All right, what do you do? I'm a tattoo artist. How long have you been a tattoo artist? I've been tattooing since 91, so I've been tattooing for 32 years. June will be 33. What would you say are some of the benefits of being a tattoo artist? To be honest with you, the money. Yes, sir. Yeah, it pays. It pays. They get the bills paid, and you, man, it's, it's the lavish life, man. And I just like to put work out there to express myself, you know what I'm saying? And to show my skills, you know? So I like doing what I do. So what are some things that you do not like about being a tattoo artist? And why? Well, I hate doing negative tattoos, man. And I hate doing face tattoos when people get out of it, mess on their face. I really don't like that. I really don't like that. Me, I try to talk them out of it, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, how you going to get a good job with all this on your face and stuff? So I, I really don't like doing that. When a person come in and get a tattoo, I would like for them to come and get something that has some meaning to it. Because I get a lot of them that just randomly come in and want to get a random tattoo. I feel like if you're going to, Put some on your skin and it's there for life. Get something that has meaning. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm Duke and I'm from Spring Hill, Louisiana. How many tattoos do you have? I got five tattoos. When did you get your first tattoo? And what was your reaction to it? I got my first tattoo at 15. And I thought it was gonna hurt at first, but it really didn't, so it was pretty cool. What is your most meaningful tattoo? My most meaningful tattoo is this tattoo on my right bicep. It's in remembrance of two of my homeboys that passed. Give me your pros and cons for getting tattoos. Well, pros, I mean, they look good. And a lot of people like to express themselves through their artwork. And often have a lot of meaning to them if you get them in the cons uh, you're, su you're subjective to be judged based off the tattoos you got and how they make you look and where they're at uh, Randy Edwards from Shreveport, Louisiana how many tattoos do you have? more than I can count I don't remember the exact number but it's probably more than like 20 when did you get your first tattoo and what was your reaction to it? Uh, 
I got my first tattoo when I was 13. Uh, it was, it's covered up now. Um, I really wasn't supposed to get it. My mom peer pressured me to get it. She got tattooed that same day. So, but uh, my reaction to it, like, you know, it was cool. Like, I'm in middle school at the time, so I was like, you know, I'm probably like one of the first kids probably like around my area with a tattoo. So, it was pretty cool. What is your most meaningful tattoo and why? Meaningful tattoo uh, so far. Uh, I have a quote by Nipsey Hussle. Uh, it says, uh, I just didn't quit. And, uh, I got this tattoo in a period of time in life where I was going through a lot and I wanted to just like give up. And um, the tattoo basically symbolizes me not you know, giving up on everything I stand for and I believe in. So I think that's my quote. Um, um, tattoo has been most to me so far. What are some negative stereotypes people put on people with tattoos? Uh, basically, if you have a lot of tattoos, people automatically assume that you fight a gang of men or things or something like that. In my opinion, I don't think it's fair. You know, I feel like tattoos are all art form. So, uh, yeah, that'd be the, the main thing. Or you can't get a job without tattoos. So, those are two. Tattoos are more than just things on your body. It's a canvas for self-expression. It allows a person to tell their own personal stories through their body art. Each tattoo stems from different things, whether it's from religion, um, past experiences, uh, a tribute to a loved one, or simply just because you have an interest in something or in art. But they all tell its own unique stories. Now, everybody is different, but I believe that brings out the rawness and the authenticity and the beauty behind the art. It allows your body to tell its own story through everything you've been through, expressing your experiences, your life, and even your identity. It's your body. It's your voice. Just told in ink.